everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2! Oh my goodness, he is so big! And our Dino Park! So our Dino Park kind of season 2, we are here at Zoo Tycoon 2 staring at the biggest Triceratops I have ever seen in my life. These guys are huge! Look at him! And I think he's rubbing up against like this little tree right here. Oh my gosh, you're gigantic! Look at those horns! What would we even, like, those horns are huge! I mean... I, I just have no words. I am basically 100% in love with our new Triceratops. He is gigantic, and he definitely is way, way, way too big for this exhibit. Look at him. Look at him struggle. Look at how he struggles because he can't get away. Oh, gosh. And what does this man think of him? Oh, he needs some places to sit down. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's get some uh, benches over here for our guests because apparently I've been forgetting just to be polite to our guests and leave them some benches. Let's see. There's enough benches over there. We'll just drag a bench over here. Why is my why, why is my ground all acting weird over here? Who knows? Who knows? All right. Let's smooth this out. But yes, yeah, so welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to our dino park. And today we are going to be working on trying to get more space for our triceratops because they're way, 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 way too big for this area. And I want them to be comfortable and I love them. I don't know why. I think triceratops are possibly one of my just all time favorite creatures. And I don't know why. Definitely one of my all-time favorite dinosaurs. Oh, and he's a little bored. Can I get you anything, Super Triceratops? I think he wants a prey dummy to be able to smash against because I had to take his away. So I probably need to hurry and get him a much bigger area. So we're going to work on that. Let's see. I'm going to put some little benches over here. Maybe a little bench over here. There we go. One of my quagga just gave birth too, which is exciting. So this quagga is about to give birth. All right. Well, let's settle in. We'll watch the quagga have a baby. And then we will go and we will start fencing off a new area for our Triceratops to enjoy. Because I do want to have a nice big Triceratops herd. And because they're herbivores, even though they're huge. Why is this in here? Why is there... Quaggas do not lay eggs. Quaggas do not lay eggs. I'm just, I'm saying it. All right. Look, see, she's, she's having a baby. And there's the baby. So here is an adorable little quagga full. What is this nest doing in here? Why do I have a dino nest? Why? Why do I have a stratocosis nest inside my dino ex inside my quagga exhibit? What is this? Here, you can go here. What on earth is this even about? Is it just a decorative piece that got stuck in there somehow? I have no idea. Well, that was interesting. All right, let's go ahead. We need to get down, down the Jurassic Park fencing in a new area, and I was thinking of basically giving this whole section over here to our Triceratops. It's a nice big area and I think that we would be able to put in um, a few other creatures with the Triceratops. Uh, maybe some of the other big guys or little guys that could just kind of wander around and I'm hoping that we could put some bridges over these pieces and then we might be able to, um, hmm, hmm, now that I'm looking at it, hmm, some bridges over the rivers and uh, maybe a jeep tour. That's what I was thinking. Maybe put a jeep tour that can loop through it. So let's go ahead and get down the fence. I, uh, we're just going to do this now because they're gigantic and they definitely need some room. Let's see. Let's do it like this. So people can come all the way up over here. And then we'll say like the fence gets installed over here because now this will be where the bridge will be. And then it's like, oh, wow, look at the Triceratops. Aren't they so big? Oh, you want to have like a little restaurant over here? That's just fine. There'd be a little room for like a little restaurant or something like that. Maybe right there. And then we'll continue. Hmm. Continue over here. Like so, maybe? Yeah, like this. All right, maybe up a little bit more. Like so. And then do I want to cut off? This is a very pretty little mountain piece. Do I want to cut it off? I think I would make it go up and around, maybe through the mountains like this, this little mountain area. All right, and then down, boom. So basically I want to turn this entire area, which is a huge, huge, huge section into space. Oh no, my ammonite's sick. Remember you guys, you gotta scrub your ammonites. If you don't remember to, oh, and it's pregnant. If you don't remember to scrub your ammonites, then there's trouble. All right, groom, diheal it, heal. All right, let's look for some other ammonites really quickly, and then we're going to move the Triceratops. There's the blue tangs looking beautiful as always. Oh, here's some ammonites. All right, groom. 
Got a groom. Oh, heal. It was also sick. Oops, I'm swimming with it. Didn't mean to do that. All right, somebody is a happy fish. You're a very beautiful happy fish. All right, so, oh, it's kind of fun when you're looking for the ammonites in the water. Groom, groom. So those guys are okay. I always forget you have to scrub them because they just don't take care of their own hygiene needs themselves. Wait, groom. Missed an ammonite. There we go. Swim through the water. Groom. Okay, it's okay. Oh, look at the lionfish. Isn't this so much fun just to swim around? Look at the lionfish. Man, that's so cool. It's like our own little endless ocean world down here. There's a purple, a purple queen. All the tangs are just kind of sticking to each other over here. All right, hello everybody. All right, let's just groom all of you since I'm over here and apparently you guys want a little scrub. All right, groom the ammonite, heal the ammonite. Is that everybody? We've healed and groomed several other ammonites. I don't see any others over here. Looking around, looking around. It's so cool just to have the whale sharks lurking in the distance. All right, I think that's good. I think we're good on those guys. I still need to get some Smilodons, I just remembered. Uh, so I still need to get some Smilodons to replace the ones we lost. And why don't we get ready to move the Triceratops, which is gonna be a little bit sad because I love the area that they have. It's huge, it's beautiful. They seem to really enjoy it. Well, it's not huge enough is the point. It's just so lovely. So we'll have to try to change the biome up to kind of suit them over here and make sure they have enough room for their rest places and then things to eat and water to drink. All right, let's come over. But see, look at these two. They, they have no space. They have no space and they need some space. So we'll put the, the scratching post at a few spots. Put a few scratching posts down. They want those palm trees, those, those Syad palm trees, they actually really enjoy. So we need to put those down too. All right, zoom back over here. Hopefully, oh, hang in there guys, hang in there. They're just snorting and standing around. So, so far so good. Oh, and she was playing with the pursuit ball. That's so sweet. All right, I'll put down a few pursuit balls. They're gonna be moving into a much bigger area. This is gonna be nice. All right, what else do they need? In fact, let's just do it this way. Let's grab our Triceratops. He's off to poop somewhere apparently. And I definitely think that they would enjoy having more of the prey dummies that they could kind of smash into and challenge because a couple of the big males were actually doing that. There we go, with the prey dummy. So we'll put those down. Let's see, we'll put down some salt licks in a few spots. We'll try to keep most of the trees and other decorative pieces along the back so that it's not in their way. All right, maybe a couple barrels. <laughs> this is gonna be a nice big zone. All right, and then let's put down, maybe over here, just a few of these rock shelters because they're very, very pretty and Tracy seems to enjoy the rock shelters. So I wanna make sure she still has a rock shelter or two. Uh, I'll put one up here just in case they can get up there. Just a couple of rock shelters that she can enjoy if she can get into them. All right, and then what do we need for food? We're gonna need a whole bunch of these, these little leaves. So we'll put those in like some central areas. Because what we normally do is make like a little pile and then we'll come back and put the palm trees that these leaves fall down from next to here. All right, and we're gonna put lots of food just all over the place because they're huge and I really want my Triceratops to be able to breed happily and just have lots of babies. All right, and then we'll find the baby's homes eventually for money. <laughs> so we're breeding Triceratops for, for money. That's, that's kind of what we're doing. All right, we need to make sure there's still plenty of room to be able to roam around. Lots of water in different locations. Okay, let's put this over here. Maybe this over here. Uh, maybe not so close against the wall because they actually have trouble reaching it sometimes. They'll complain because it's against the fence. All right, so we'll put that there. I hope that's enough. I really hope that's enough. All right, let's come down. Oh, look at us, we're five stars. It's so awesome. And the King Sagos, those are the little palm trees I was trying to think about. So these guys, they actually will interact with um, by leaning up against them and rubbing themselves on it, like scratching to get a good itch. They'll lean against them. So let's see, I'm gonna probably clear these other palm trees away. So we'll clear them out, clear them out. Maybe not those ones, I don't know yet. I do wanna change the biome. What biome do you want, Triceratops? Look at the size of them, they're just gigantic. So what biome does he want? He wants temperate grassland biome. 
All right, well, we'll fill this in. I think it should be something a little bit more exotic than temperate grassland biome, but they do like to graze. There is that. All right, so let's keep going. They're kind of like the Galapagos tortoises that we have in uh, our other zoo right now that we have in Zoo Tycoon 2, our island treasure zoo. Because those tortoises like to just stand in the same place and graze and graze and graze for days. They don't really move or do anything else. They just stand there and graze. All right, so there's that. I don't think we need any water spots. Maybe I'll put like a teensy little place where it's just got a little tiny pond back here. Not too much. Not too much because I don't want them getting stuck in it or like falling in it. But yeah, just a few spots where there's like a little bit of free water if they want it. There we go. I need to fix that because it's a little too much. There we go. Hopefully they can reach that. Maybe another little shallow pool along here. Just some spots where maybe they can access the water if they want it. Man, it looks so weird to have like a temperate grassland. What was the bamboo? Whoops. What does the bamboo forest look like? I think it would be... I actually like the bamboo forest for them better. I think the bamboo forest, like, grass looks looks more fun. <laughs> looks like a lot more fun. So maybe I'll sprinkle that in. Let's see. That looks more dinosaur-like. You know what I mean? So we're going to put the bamboo forest grass down. I'll just have to replace all the water I just put down. Look at the rocks on that. Man, that looks cool. But yeah, don't worry guys, that doesn't mean that it's like, oh my gosh, the triceratops are going to die because they have bamboo forest grass. No, it just changes the color of the ground. And we have the mod in place where if it's a different biome, they don't even notice. They don't even notice, like most zoo animals. Most zoo animals just really care if they have like the food and water they want, and then they could care less what you're going to do with everything else. Oh, look at the ground. Oh, that's such a pretty color. I'm going to have to sprinkle that around the place. All right, let's do this a little bit, just some of there. There we go. Let's mix in the moss and the ground in a few more places. Very nice ground cover. Come on. Where's the ground? There we go. See, look at that. That's so nice. We can just kind of put it in a few spots, kind of connect it up, try to make it look a little rough, come back in there with the grass. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. And then we can turn in like the ground next to the caves since that makes sense since the caves would see like a lot of action whoops i forgot to reach all the way back here that's how big their new area is <laughs> i'm very pleased with that hopefully they'll enjoy it all right so there we go it's gonna take us a while to make this look nice because like for me at least it's easy to kind of throw up the fences but then i have to come back in and do a lot of work to try to get it to look exactly how I want with like the biome colors and the little splashes of dirt everywhere and put in the right kind of plants do a little dirt path over here maybe a little dirt path over here just kind of tap 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 try to make it look nice all right moss tap 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 moss and dirt tap 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 all right there we go ah now it's too much too much ah too much again hey come here come here all right, but let's go ahead. We need to get these guys moved in here. Holy moly. <laughs> this whole thing has just been dedicated to trying to get them in a comfortable position. Okay. So let's see. We still have the lady ferns and all that, but I'm going to just go ahead and move them for now. Oh, look at that. So much more room. So much more room. I'm also going to have to move their zookeepers, and then I'm going to have to build a fence to get out to their triceratops. And then we'll have a whole new area playing chase with Super Triceratops 3. That's adorable. Then we'll have a whole new area the Triceratops can be loose in and they can have fun in. And where's the eggs? This is the nest. Look at this nest she laid. It's gigantic. So we'll have to come back for that nest in the future too. But all right, let's go ahead. I need to grab the zookeeper. I'm going to take away his assignment. Remove selected assignment. Keeper Kane. And now, Keeper King, good luck. You are a tiny man in a gigantic exhibit. I'm going to have to give him a gate to be able to get in and out in just a minute. All right, and Keeper Karen, same thing. I'm going to remove your, your exhibit assignment from right here and bring her all the way back here. And these two are just exclusively assigned to take care of the Triceratops over here. And we'll decorate it some more with plants in just a little bit. But now we need to work on getting a bridge built. People can come over and they can come visit and see what these guys are up to on this side of the park. Maybe it's about time I need to start thinking about building like one of those uh, sky trams. So there, that's an idea. I keep, you know, Zoo Tycoon 2 
is the inspiration for zoo crafting, our Minecraft series. And I keep meaning to build a sky tram in the Minecraft series because, you know, you have sky trams here. You have them here in the Zoo Tycoon 2 series, so I want to have one in the Minecraft series too. But I should probably build more of them in Zoo Tycoon 2 to get the hang of it. All right, so now we're building a nice bridge, and I've almost got the hang of bridges after all these years, believe it or not. All right, let's try this elevated path. I like the look of it. All right, so we're going to come over here, and from there, there we go. Is that enough? Just two? Should I do three? I should probably do three wide, because then I could potentially put down some of our... Do, 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 maybe just right there, not too big. Maybe put an arch in the middle somehow. Just maybe. All right, now we want to go back down, like so. There we go, there we go. All right, and one more right here. There's that one. Oh, yay! The supercar grew up, so she is now a mature female. And we'll have to see how she and our mature male get along. We're going to put another bridge right here. There we go. So that people have lots of options for how to get across. And hopefully come see our Triceratops. We'll have to put in more animals in with the Triceratops exhibit. All right, need to make it a little bit longer. We'll have to put in, yeah, more creatures with the Triceratops exhibit just to see if that encourages people to come back and see what's going on because the Triceratops, in my opinion, are really fantastic. All right. Oh, no, my bridge isn't even. No, curses. Oh, when that happens, it really sucks. All right. Is that because of the ground? It is because of the ground. So I'm going to have to even that out. Darn. Oh, I don't even know what biome this is. Ooh. Ah, definitely the wrong one. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later. <laughs> Getting the path done is the most important part. And apparently Keeper Lion can't reach the, the poop. So that's also an important thing to take care of. Oh, and I forgot we're still out of Smilodons. <laughs> we're still out of Smilodons. All right. And I need to get more Quagga. Oh, there's just so much going on. So much going on all the time. All right, there we go. Come on. Connect up. Is that going to connect it all up? I hope that connects it all up. All right, and now we're going to have people be able to come over and look at this side of that exhibit, which is still missing some males. I still need to get some males for those little little deers who are in here. And hopefully, there, hopefully that clears all that up. Gosh, so much going on now. I love it though. All right, there we go. And let's see if I can get a proper like gate in place. There we are. So my zookeepers could get out if they really needed to. And how are my triceratops? Going to go rub against the king saw. Go good. Oh, are the males like, oh, they're fighting. Oh, triceratops fight. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Who's going to win? Oh, it could be bloody. It could be violent. Nope. Now they're just off to poop again. And eating leaves, so they apparently have settled it between each other. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh! Babies! <laughs> so many babies! So many babies! There's just babies for days! Triceratops babies everywhere! They have hatched! They have hatched! Let's give them a quick little washing! Let's give them a quick little washing and then we should move them in with the, the adults. Oh my goodness! Babies! Hello babies! They're, they're busy, like, nibbling on things, eating, visiting with their siblings. Oh, grow my little Triceratops herd, grow! All right, I should probably move them in so they can be with the adults. So let's start the slow move. All right, yep. And because of the way they hatch from the eggs, like, it doesn't register their siblings. And they're all just Triceratops 5, but there's a whole bunch of Triceratops 5s. All right, so Tracy's their mom. Triceratops number two is their dad, and we're going to move all of them in here. Are they all the same gender? There's a female. I wonder if they would have had the same... Let's see. Here's another female. If they would have had the same thing. I don't think so as crocodiles, where gender would have been determined by the temperature that they would be at. All right. And this is a male. So, nope. We do have some boys and some girls. Oh, my goodness. So many of them. All the little Triceratops babies. How fun. Go forth, little ones. Go eat. Have a good time. Greet your mother. Greet your father. Don't get stepped on. And is everything else going okay? Where are the big guys? 
where did the big guys go? Oh, they're just busy over here. They seem to really enjoy this corner, but at least they have more room and a lot more room. And we're probably gonna need that room once the Triceratops continue to grow up and have babies of their own. And goodness, is that ever exciting. So we need to continue to spruce their exhibit up. I need to continue to get some guest facilities down here. So my guests are happy to walk this way, see what we have on this side of the zoo. All right, let's make sure there, that's that. And then I also need to get in some more Smilodons. Oh, I have a Smilodon! I thought you were dead! It's their female! Okay, we have to get a male Smilodon ASAP then because I want her to be able to have some babies. And we need to get a male for these guys. And I know the Quaggas would really be happy if we had more of them. And Oganus, we need to start putting like benches and everything. As usual, so much to do in the zoos. And the whale shark is apparently complaining because it's getting a little dirty. So we need to come down, just quickly maintenance those water filters. Phew, phew. And everybody is really happy because we have fish and Ammonite 7 is giving birth. So, goodness, so we still need to put a new dinosaur in here. So a lot's going on. This is awesome. I think this is our last, <gasps> I think this is the, the Stegosaurus fossil. Oh gosh, we'll have to dig that up next time and continue working on the zoo then. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.